Hello everyone, welcome to another game that you might not even expect me to play. This is Pokemon Quest. We're doing this a little differently. This is a Pokemon Quest Nuzlocke. My highest level Pokemon whenever I lose three times to the same level at any point. So if I just lose three times to the same level three tw times, I lose my highest level Pokemon. And that's how we're gonna play. I am playing in English, like all of you who are probably watching my videos. Uh, if I want to expand later, I will just. If I'm gonna do this in other languages, I'm probably not gonna do Pokemon Quest or other video games. I specifically have story as a big part of them. But who knows what could happen now in the years. I played to for, for a small island that was recently called Tumble Cube Island. There were traces of civilization that used to exist on this island, and there could be a lot of precious loot to be discovered. My goal is to is to thoroughly explore Tumble Cube Island and uncover its awesome loot. I'll be arriving at Tumble Cube Island shortly. I can't wait to see what treasures await me. Okay, I know I'm always biased towards all the starters, but I've never played, I've never picked Pikachu or Eevee in any game. I also have never picked Squirtle, but Frick Squirtle. So I'm gonna pick between Pikachu and Eevee, depending on what Eevee's attacks are. Beep beep bop beep beep beep. Huh, my mom be fine. He's drunk. The drum I find for myself go. I brought it here to detect the loot. He's acting strange. What's wrong, Moby? Beep bop. <laughs> well, I guess I have no choice but to restart it. Beep bop. <laughs> Reset complete. Please input the owner's name. The maximum number of characters is 12. I'm doing awesome 19. Because I have it. Because this is on challenges. Also. Plus, this is also my uh, official. Yeah, that's the right name. This is the uh, the name I use for Pokemon Showdown. If you like to challenge him, Pokemon Showdown, look to see if Awesome Nineteen's online. So I'm gonna go with that name. Also, I'm not sure why, but you can put up to 500 characters. Why don't you whatever other game does and limit the characters already? Good morning, Awesome 19. Here's the news for today. I'm not interested in the news right now, Moby. I'd rather get to exploring the island. Would you ever look around for me first? Understood. Beginning scouring Cumble Cube Island. Send by. I've no recorded of the data on this island. The items may be necessary. Travels that far away. There appear to be some Pokemon nearby that live on this island. They could be familiar with this. Look the alien's landscape. Might befriend one so we can show it us the way. Okay, we're gonna try that. Come on, here. The controls are bad. I have no idea what the attack, so. But I'm gonna go with Pikachu. Specifically because the last task on the island is gonna be the hardest. Actually, never mind. I got only how to evolve Eevee into Jolteon, but the stats are perfect. That's how, and that's how we get in one of the evolutions. I gotta get a Jolteon. Because I'm not dealing with a Pikachu. I'm not dealing with a Pikachu with that low of an HP stat. We're going to go with Eevee. 
Okay, we've been finding the Eevee. Now we go on a mission. In this game, we do nothing. The hard part of Nuzlocke is, is I'm not allowing myself to use auto, but I'm also not allowed to run. I can't run. Take down Flail. Dang it, those are bad moves. Let's take down because we're really high HP. Let's see if Lyle to not take too much damage. Okay, down for the boss. And the boss is right there, the tower. It has a lot of high HP amount, so we're going to be sick of it all the time. Boom! Okay, that's gonna be really helpful. <coughs> Cause this is a tutorial level. We are indeed allowing ourselves to do other things. If you find necessary. So with this white screen, I'm going to have Rai put up some rules that I sold her to put into this video. But I'm also going to be following the typical Nuzlocke rules. Not so well. The list is going to be on screen, but I'm going to say them out loud. I have to name all my Pokemon, which you can do in this game. I, like I said, if, if I lose to the same level three times, after I... If I have not, con assuming I have not conquered the level yet, if I beat the level, I can lose to it. And I have to release my strongest Pokemon if I lose to the same level three times. And I am allowed to over level, but that is not, but there's no guaranteed levels thing for everything. And if I find a shiny, I must kill it, which is heartbreaking. Okay. Then they read the letters, or the words. Hmm, I think I, yeah, I think I can get our construction, but now I need to find a place to have base four count. <coughs> also, no money, because no money, I, th I might not mention that, but this is an Oslock. If you could just pay real life money to get free Pokemon, then it wouldn't be fair. So I'm not allowing any free Pokemon via the use of money and buying more cook pots. Oh, it looks like I found a nice play nice clearing. I'll make this my base. What about the bizarre sword I found earlier? Is there some way I could use it? Well, I'm take a look at the stone. The bike will have to grow. Yep, tutorial stuff. I got 204. I'm not using the other stone. Okay. Expedition time! Also, this episode will just be a conglomeration of whatever the heck I want. But, it will also just be five to six levels, depending on what I... Five to six to six, twelve to... I have no idea how many levels I'll do per episode, but there's a thing in the shop that will allow me to buy it and then get some free, yes, some free uh, battery points, making this number six, giving me some more uses for the battery. So I can do more levels. Since it's just even, this is gonna be the easiest part of the game, because I just got a use takedown. The Pokemon has not fainted yet to the flail, I can probably use flail. Dang, I didn't hit anything with that. Oh, that was a crit! <coughs> I'm gonna go into the first level. I'm gonna try and see what buttons I can use. 
I use this button. Is there a way I can... Other than just clicking the buttons just because they also act as the A button. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. Let's not do that and let's just use flail because these enemies are very, very easy to take out so far. I hit both of them. More over there, let's use take gun, trying to get both of all them in. Let's save the let's save the moves from the boss, it's a meow. Defense is a strong move this early in the game. Level 3, unlock that stone. I do kind of hate Eevee's move stone options, but... You're getting those less early in the game, but on it. Okay, we're cooking stuff. Got us. I forget that this is a normal game and no one's probably seen this game, but no one cares for this game. Yep, we just drag the items like we do everywhere else. Come on, controller. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I thought that it was like a forced tip that you were forced to learn. You couldn't do it, and yeah, I just had to drag. Okay. I'm gonna finish this. This is a tutorial, remember? We're forced to do this. Matata and Peachy, these are our brand new teammates that might die very, very easily. If we get lucky, the tennis. Right, we can't see what the move is, because of course we can't. But this is Gus, I know this is Gus. The only part about this that I actually need to Click do this is to, is this part. Can't even click on EV to get the exploration point out of the way. Remember, our high level Pokemon will have to be released if we fail the level three times. So currently, our star will be released if we die. But these levels are supposed to be easy in the early game. So I'm not going to be like, I need to over level exponentially. I have no idea how this works. That's the wrong button again. I can just focus on Eevee and the uh... If it's X and Y, I'm gonna try X and Y on the next run. Okay, it is X and Y, luckily. Good. <coughs> now I know the buttons that will help me use these controls very easily. Metapod. You would not be actually helpful against fighting.
Boom. We're never using Rattata's focus energy because that's just a waste of a turn. We need to be focusing on attacking everything with all our strings. Remember, currently Eevee is still our strongest Pokemon. But this game is critically easy at the beginning of the game. <coughs> Okay, we can get these PM tickets for free. Okay, that's basics. 500 PM tickets for free. We will never be using these for quite some time. Specifically, we're not using them for three days. Because if I don't spend any money, I can get the Nichi Watch in three days. And that will finally give me what I need. <coughs> I got normal team because I picked Eevee. I did not pick that intentionally, but whatever. Five free bomb mushrooms. Okay. I'm gonna turn on the Eevee's Everstone until I actually know how it can evolve. I'm gonna give the strongest one to Eevee, because I have no idea how the freak it evolves. Fiji. You're getting its next. You're getting Eevee's first stone. Fiji and Rotata, they can evolve. I have no idea how the heck Eevee evolves in this game. I know it's based off of the stats, which is why Eevee, without any power stones, any health stones, is just perfectly fine. I have no idea what level it evolves at. So I don't know when I need to prepare for it. We got another five. If we complete this, we can get one more thing. But do this, and we get five extra batteries. Which we will probably use in the next episode. Okay, we're having a total to beat this now. Let's do this thing. Also, auto is allowed for levels I've already beaten. Let's just not use Pitcher's Gust, because the yeah, that thing's gonna die. <coughs> okay, it dies, and now we got two more. Using focus energy ever. That's how bad the move is. We didn't get it, but that's fine because that just only means that just means no recoil if I can't hit it. I never know which way Eevee's facing until it's too late. Then I use the wrong move. Okay, Pidgeotto. That was Whirlwind, I'm almost confident that used Whirlwind. Okay, that should be enough for you to win. Boom! There we go.
Nice. You regain the level, and then we're almost all about to level up again. This thing's cool. Fine for now. Before we get out to the island, let's look at my Pokemon again. Just to collect my power stones and my friend Pokemon before we head out. Okay. Right, this is the quest thing. I'm not using that, but we can at least go to challenge. Book one, drain it. And two close long range teams. Use it twice in the level. Good. I'm gonna save as many PM tickets as I can because those are not very easily able to get on. Yeah. I remember this little thing where you could just get free of whatever the heck you wanted. Anyway, here's Doduo. Kick down. Well, this is literally the exact same moveset as Eevee, but you level 9. I'll keep you for now. A hot pot! So good! The next levels we have to fight involve fire as one of the good types. And that's a Vulpix. That's so, so good. Level 4, but we can work on that. Ember. Wait, Flame Charge is on an attack! No, says me, whatever the frick. <coughs> I'm pretty sure we can get the grass too if we just put lots of plants in this thing. And that's what we hope for a future level. Uh, I'm not sure I have time enough to use four of that, so we'll wait for when I get back. <coughs> okay, now we're in free roam range. We have a few things we gotta do. Uh, but we only need to name the Pokemon that we're actually going to use. So we're going to go to Eevee. With Power Stones. I will name this after the end of Rye. I am uncreative. I need something to name this after. We're gonna go with Bub. Then we're gonna go with the Ackerman of Fear. Focus Sash. Endeavor. Quick attack. Quick attack. And then. Nope. Retire. Or if you watch Alpha Red's video where he beats Pokemon level 1, freaking evil annoying rodent. We are going to use the Vulpix, so we're going to change its name. Jenny, I'm just gonna go with a basic name that I can think of on the top of my head. Okay, Bub, I'm gonna give you the last power stone we have. It's better than Eevee's, but you can't, we can't need you to live, and we just need whatever stones we have. Okay, now that we got into training. It's up to level 7. We're gonna use this to try and get a, uh, an actual attack in Rattata. Please an attack, please an attack. Dang it! Okay. Well, until Rattata gets an actual good attack, We're gonna put Vulpix on the team. 
Okay, the Pulpix needs to level up. Well, Jenny needs to level up. To uh, be helpful in the next few levels. Seven, eight, 50, we're 874. Okay, I'm on bub thing. We gotta surround us. Why not? Okay, now it calls for help. Uh, if he's surrounded. Dang it, I used that move up for no reason. <coughs> okay, there's a ton of these things. There's a rotate. I said rotate. Something along those lines. Okay, uh, EP's flare is the strongest move now. Come on, babe, we don't uh, have easy die, even though it wouldn't really affect much. Let's go! If easy dies, it just comes out of the Pokeball, and that's not actually one of the deaths. We have to lose level three times for it to be counted as a death. Ooh, that's nice. Increase bug one to level five, get increased experience when we have positions. Great, bring your titles. And now we have some more things. Okay, we have some few things here. Other than Nope, I don't want that. I want the weightless stone. And I want Rookie Chef. What move learning thing. I'm looking at Rookie Chef. Move up investigation. Good. Okay, we need to increase the new thing. We're now showing this attack thing. We'll go over here. Some of these moves have a uh, longer wait period. None of them, so I'm just going to use takedown. Right, 900. When I come back from school, it's 
going to be very much an increase. Good, begin an extra bonus type if it's with what type we're looking for. Also, right here is just the ingredients we can get. We also get reds and blues in this area. We get mostly yellows and blues in this area. But this level, we'll mostly get yellows and greys. <coughs> Which will be helpful. But I will see you in the next episode of this Nuzlocke. Uh, so yeah. See ya.